नमस्कार वेलकम टू पेपल्स एंड वेलकम टू आवर स्पोकन हिंदी क्लास थ्रू इंग्लिश नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द फ्रैक्शंस द फ्रैक्शंस इन हिंदी आर लिटिल बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड जस्ट पे अटेंशन सो इट्स अ फन आल्सो सो लेट अस सी इन द फ्रैक्शन इन इंग्लिश आर जनरली क्वार्टर हाफ एंड थ्री फोर्थ Okay, we are not going to go into the decimal points and all those things because we are uh, talking about. But where point. are they going to see fractions in yeah. India? Yeah, uh, fractions are used for your time. Yes. Then your shopping. Yes. And uh, your currency. So when you go for shopping and ask for a price of some mm, anything, something, anything, yeah. mm-hmm. they may say sawa so. Now what what is what the sawa so? You may ask the time. What time is it? They may say der, dhai, sare tin, sare char. Then you should know that. Or you want to buy something yes. like that. Uh, suppose you want to buy a one and half kg of potatoes. They may say der kg, der kilo. Many times you may ask what is the time, and they will say dhai. Then you will not understand what is dhai. What is that time? So we are going to highlight today the fractions and. how the fractions are attached to the whole numbers and how they are spoken so let us see the what in english it is called i think only three we should cover yeah. that is the 1/4 now 1/4 the... in hindi it is called as pav now again this pav if you say pav the pav also means the bread okay in maharashtra in central india or and somewhat in south india yes. the pav is a bread bread but again if you think that pav is the bread if you go to north india then the bread is called as a double, double roti. roti if yeah. you say pav there they will not they understand. Will understand anything so here she has written p a u pav but uh, just remember this there is a different meaning also so it will always be taken as reference to context yes okay so 1/4 is the pav then 1/2 uh, 1/2 is said as aadha aadha okay now the 3/4 the 3 quarters 3 quarter 3/4 is called as pauna so p it is a pauna pav na okay so we call is the pav aadha and pav na when there are when they are below 1 okay means below the f- number 1 1 is not yet completed yes. okay but suppose if it is the after 1 then so, let us see what it will be called now suppose now suppose it is 1 and 1 and, uh, and quarter 1 1/4 so 1 and 1/4 together so what it is called as sawa 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 see generally it is a one uh, behind it so we will not pronounce it a sawa ek but if you want to say proper you can call it as a sawa ek okay so generally this call is the, this number will be called as the sawa ek or sawa ek, ek. so uh, i think you, can write. you want can, to write down so we can, can write, write for you bracket. because you may find some people saying that sawa yeah. ek but generally people say sawa that's enough now one and half a one and half is called ded ded de dh dh it is a dh okay ded now uh, one and 3/4 now here the fun is there because here just like we call it as the sawa ek it will be not called as the pauna ek it is not because if you say pauna ek then again it is only 3/4 only pauna ek is the 3/4 okay so here you have to call as the pauna do so it is less than 2 so it is called as pauna do if i had written 2 3/4 i would call it as paune 3 so 3 before 3 it is 2 written so i will call it a paune 3 now here 1 and 3/4 it is paune 2 so generally in english also after fractions if the half is crossed we round it to the next figure something like this up to this you can call 
one, but once it is crossed the half, you should call it as a paune do, and here you can call it as a paune teen. Okay. Now this is okay. Fine. This is uh, good. After this, it is very easy. Except the two. Now we have seen uh, pure fractions. That is below one. Then one and one, one, one fourth fractions. Uh, one and half. One and three fourth. Okay. Now we have to see about two also. From three onwards, it is almost is, same. It yeah, is almost it is same. same. There, there is no change. But up to two, there is problem. So when we, uh, when you want to say two and quarter, it will be sawa. Now sawa do. will remain same as sawa, but instead of ek, it will come as do. So sawa do. Now do is nothing but two, and sawa means one fourth. So this is how it is said. Now uh, the uh, the fun and the problem is in two and half. Yeah, that this is the only uh, you can say it is different from others. Here we say it as dai, dai. So I'll just show you how to write and pronounce dai. This way. So it is dai means uh, like here you say sawa do means at least. Sawa is there and two is also there. Do, but in this case nothing is there. Do is also not there. Adha is also not there. So, so this is the totally different, different word. word. Different word is used. Yeah. So dhai. So people may say, what is the time? So they may you may get the answer dhai. Dhai is nothing but two and a half or thirty minutes past two. That is the time they are trying to tell you in Hindi. Yeah. And this dhai word is. Throughout same all over India. Yeah. Because this is a very very typical Hindi word. Yeah. Okay. Now two and three, three fourth. fourth. Now after dhai, I think everything is very. Now for same. one and three fourth we use paune do because it was less than two. So two here we'll call it paune teen. So paune let's teen. see how to write and pronounce paune teen. Now again that is not teen. When you are writing, teen. just uh, pay attention. It is not teen; it is a teen. teen. So after that, uh, now it is same. same. For, if you say three, so sawa teen, pone teen, like this it will come. So when it is three, it will like come. Only this two and a half is little different in Hindi. So uh, let us exercise this up to ten. Uh, not by writing, just orally. I will uh, say. Yeah. Uh, then it is a three. Quarter. Now let us see uh, the three also, because after three, I told you uh, that after two everything is same. But there is one word yes. like your dhai. There is another which word which another is coming, word. which might be repeated in all other letters now. So, so let's see. Let us see three and ha, uh, three and one fourth. Three one fourth is sawa teen. It is same. Teen. It is same. Sawa ek. This is same. Sawa do. Sawa teen. Sawa char. Sawa paach. It is all same. But now, here, three and half is a sadhe teen. Now here the word new word has come. Sadhe teen. Sadhe means half. So sadhe. Sa. Re. Teen. So sadhe teen is three and half. Now three and Three fourth is again same. Pona, pona will use it. Pone char. So you understood that uh, one fourth is pow, half is adha. adha. Now the different words are generally used where the adha is there. Yes. Half is there. There are three different words uh, come into picture. Here it is adha. Less than one adha. Now here we just call it the dead. We we won't call it the dead one. Yeah, dead eight. One and a half, dead. One word only. Okay, and uh, here we have the dai. Two and a half, dai. Okay, so everywhere half is there, but the words are different. Different. Or other things are very common, very same. And uh, here, it is a sari. three and a half. From three and a half, four and a half, five and a half. Everywhere we are going to use sare teen, sare char. Sare paanch. I like think this. we should uh, uh, pronounce up to ten. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we will start from the four. So I will say four and quarter. Four and quarter will become sawa char. Char is four. Yeah. Sawa is common. Four and half. Sare char. 
फोर एंड थ्री फोर्थ पौने पांच ओके देन इन केस ऑफ फाइव इट इज अ फाइव एंड वन फोर्थ सवा पांच फाइव एंड हाफ साढ़े पांच फाइव एंड थ्री फोर्थ पौने छ सो फ्रॉम थ्री ऑनवर्ड्स एवरीथिंग इज सेम मीन्स यू हैव टू फॉलो द दिस पैटर्न यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस पैटर्न आफ्टर थ्री मीन्स फ्रॉम फोर ऑनवर्ड्स यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस पैटर्न नाउ सपोज इफ यू आस्क मी टाइम एंड इट इज वन पास्ट फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स सो आई विल इफ यू आस्क मी टाइम तो आई विल से सवाइक If it is a one past thirty, I will say dead. Then, if uh, one past forty-five minutes, it, I will say pawne do. I will not say one forty-five. Same for as he is saying, same for shopping also. If you go and buy one and one fourth kg of potatoes, you will say sawa ek kilo alu or alu is a, is in Hindi is called potato. So you can say sawa ek kilo potatoes. so this is how it applies to shopping also and time shopping currency also it is same so uh, up to 99 ninyanwe sawa ninyanwe sade ninyanwe everything is same yes, yes. now uh, see if you want to learn all the numbers i have we have already suggested you can you. refer to our other pebbles channel where it is everything yeah, is covered everything is covered uh, even the numbers up to 100 are yeah. covered here uh, in case of currency in case of currency you may come across only that much part we are going to show you may come across the uh, currency is your 50 100 100, 100 500 and 2000 1000 okay this is your currency now in case of 50 it is immaterial up to up to 100 everything is same So if it is a uh, above hundred, that is a hundred and twenty-five, we will write as. If it is hundred and twenty-five, it will be called as sawa saw. Hundred is called saw in Hindi. So sawa, as we used here sawa, so sawa saw. As she is saying sawa saw, she is she said only saw, but it is actually one saw. Okay, two saw, five saw, or. हजार उसके बाद हजार आता है दैट मीन्स हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड विल बी एक सौ दो सौ तीन सौ चार सौ पांच सौ एंड सो ऑन वेन इट कम्स टू वन थाउजेंड इट इज कॉल एज अजार ओके वेन वी सी द करेंसी इन दैट वीडियो विल कवर एवरीथिंग बट जस्ट आई टोल्ड यू इन दिस केस सो वेन इट इज अन फिफ्टी इट विल बी कॉल एज अल यूज अगेंस्ट दिस वर्ड डेड and because it is more than 100 we will add saw to it dead saw okay then uh, it is a uh, now here if it is a uh, 175 then now we will again use the word pone pone and do we will use so we will say pone do saw we just adding another word saw to it okay so pone do saw See, it is actually very simple because saw means hundred. So whatever goes above hundred, we will just go on adding. Yes, we saw. can. We are using same words yeah. actually. And if it is going on thousand, we will add hazar. Hazar. Okay. So thank you very much uh, for these fractions. Don't forget that we are using this very frequently in India because if you go to even if you go to shopping mall in the metro city yes. they will they will not call 1 and 1/2 kg maybe the uh, tags are written tags on are that, written but the sales person but when can, you are conversing with someone you may find yeah, it difficult course. to understand of course. so it's this video will be very useful for you when you go for such shopping or you are dealing with currency and uh, one thing is there if you are a foreigner that means if you look like foreigner then they may talk with you in english not uh, they will try to talk they will yeah. try to talk but if you are from the other part of india from south india if you are you look like indian definitely they will directly start talking with you in, in hindi. hindi only and if you say that i don't know hindi then it becomes a problem <laughs> so these these words will help you definitely in your daily conversation in hindi i hope so i think uh, that's all for the yeah. fractions uh, don't forget to like our video share our video and if subscribe you, <laughs> uh, but before that 
uh, I will suggest that if you need any other topics, if you want to know any other topics in Hindi, spoken Hindi, just comment us. We will definitely make yeah, video sure. on that hundred percent. We answer to all the comments also. If you have any doubt specific, just do that. And yes, if you are not subscribe our channel, please subscribe. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Have a nice day. Namaste. Namaste.